knew I was so popular with the female inmate population? I mean, always wanting to massage my shoulders, wash my hair. Oh, it's great. I love it. Oh, this place is disgusting. I mean, who knew punching a flight attendant would land me in this dump? All right, so I just got a question. Uh, do we get to watch the Lakers game in here? Maybe a little sports center? I mean, like I says, I spent the first six months, you know, in county for pushing oxys and moonshine, showing my cooter, this, that, and the other. Then I transfer over to lockdown for 15 months for prostitution. I mean, fellers can't deny this, you know. I was making top dollars. What you gonna do about that, now? Now I'm served 15 years of life because they says I threw my husband down my mine shaft. I got three of them on my property, so what you gonna do about that? Now one of them's got my dumb illiterate son bitch husband in it, so hey. Okay, well first of all, I would just like to say that all of the women in here are batshit crazy, okay? I mean, you could take all the women in Staten Island, aka zoo creatures and hyenas, thank you, you're welcome, throw them into a blender, and you're still not gonna get the amount of craziness that you have in here, okay? They got me bunking with this crazy backwoods hillbilly bitch who threw a husband down a mine shaft. I mean, what is that? I bust balls, but that's a whole new level. Like the lesbians were cool for the first week. <laughs> and now I'm just kind of annoyed by them. A girl could really use a little bit of 50 cent magic stack. Uh. Her Jennifer Anderson's in here. <laughs> Whoa. I need me a wife. What does it mean when they call you their wifey? Do I have to, you know, cook for them or what is that? Talk to me, I'ma send this one out for y'all. Know what I mean? Cause I ain't mad at you. Heard y'all tearing up shit out there, kicking up dust, giving a motherfuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just playing with y'all. What's up? You know, in here, it's all about survival. And so for me, I just hustle, rustle, and bustle. And that's what I do to survive. And, you know, I'll make a little vodka hooch once in a while, you know? Bitch, you think you gangsta cause you black? Man, I was raised on the mean streets of Scottsdale, Arizona, yo. I had to drive a Honda Accord to my private school when all them other bitches be driving benzos. Man, they were making fun of me every day, yo. Try surviving those mean streets. Now that's real talk. And you know who I think I saw in here was Laverne DeFazio from Laverne and Shirley. I don't know if it's her, she looks older. This place is a nightmare. I have four more years. <laughs>